NASA recently announced a major discovery. They found water on the sunlit side of the moon. They made other major discoveries there decades ago, discoveries they chose to keep secret. I spotted a lot of stuff that seemed to not belong on the moon. Ever looked up at the moon and wondered if there's more than meets the eye? What if the stories it holds could transform our understanding of the universe? Since ancient times, the moon has been a beacon, guiding poets, dreamers and explorers alike. But what if there's a narrative we've missed? A statement by Brian Cox, a renowned astrophysicist, has shaken up the world with insights that challenge our age-old perceptions. So, is the moon merely a silent guardian, or does it hold secrets waiting to be unveiled. Let's find out. The relationship between Earth and the Moon isn't just one of gravitational pull, it's magnetic. Ever wondered why the Moon plays such a pivotal role in our night sky? It's the silent force, a magnetic embrace between our world and its cosmic companion. This interaction goes beyond the awe of a moonlit night. In fact, the moon's magnetic charm is deeply entwined with the rise and fall of our oceans. Each high tide and ebb, each gentle pull of the waves, all influenced by this ancient connection. Human history is littered with tales of this celestial body casting its glow on countless generations. From the pyramids of Egypt to the ancient observatories of Asia, the moon has been a constant muse. Our ancestors looked up and saw stories, myths and prophecies in its phases. Across civilizations and continents, it's been celebrated in art, literature and rituals. It's a bond that transcends borders. What did they see when they looked up? perhaps the same curiosity and wonder we feel today. Thus, our connection with the moon isn't mere folklore. It's a magnetic and historical tale waiting to be told. Now, it's one thing to gaze at the moon from our earthly home, but an entirely different feat to set foot upon its silent plains. This is where the Apollo missions enter the picture. In a burst of human ingenuity and ambition, the late 1960s and early 70s witnessed humanity's giant leaps beyond our home planet. The Apollo missions did more than just plant a flag. They unlocked secrets, pushing us to reevaluate our understanding of our closest celestial neighbor. From the historic Apollo 11 landing, where the world held its breath as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took those iconic steps, to the subsequent missions that expanded our understanding, the moon was no longer just a glowing orb in our night sky. It became a destination, a place with its own tales to tell. But among the numerous groundbreaking findings, one stood out, altering our understanding forever. The discovery of tiny droplets of water. Yes, water, the elixir of life, right there on the barren lunar surface. The initial shock sent ripples through the scientific community. Could the moon, long thought of as a parched and lifeless sphere, hold secrets beneath its dusty surface? The immediate aftermath was a whirlwind, excitement, doubt, and a flurry of speculation. However, with the magnitude of this revelation came a veil of secrecy. The reasons were multiple. The potential implications for future space missions, the geopolitical climate of the era, and the sheer weight of rewriting lunar textbooks. Water on the moon wasn't just a scientific anomaly. It was a game changer. But why the secrecy surrounding these droplets? What was so pivotal about this discovery that it remained veiled from the world for so long? Decoding the secrecy became an intriguing puzzle for many. Some theorists suggested it was all about timing. In a world where space exploration was intertwined with political aspects, revealing such information prematurely might have tipped the scales of the Cold War balance. Others believed it was the sheer enormity of the discovery, science grappling with the weight of altering previously established lunar narratives. And yet, 
a few whispered about the potential commercial implications. Did these waters indicate an uncharted resource waiting to be tapped? But beyond the theories and speculations, the broader implications of these hidden waters were staggering. The very existence of water, no matter how minuscule, held the key to various possibilities. Imagine if we could harness this lunar water not just as a scientific marvel, but as a means to sustain life beyond our blue planet. It hinted at the potential for longer-term settlements, where astronauts might not just visit but reside, using the moon as a base for deeper space exploration. The waters symbolized more than just droplets. They stood as beacons of hope for sustainable lunar missions, and perhaps a future where humanity could call two celestial bodies home. As the veil lifted, the moon, once thought barren and static, transformed in our collective imagination. No longer just a silvery globe hanging in the night, it became a symbol of potential, of mysteries yet to be unraveled and of dreams waiting to be realized. The wonders of the moon, it seems, are never ending. As we dive deeper into its enigma, another curiosity came to the fore, one that left even the sharpest minds scratching their heads. Rusting on the moon? But how? The discovery by ISRO's Chandrayaan-1 brought forth this unexpected puzzle, leaving the global scientific community both awestruck and perplexed. You see, rusting is a process familiar to us on Earth, one that requires both oxygen and water. Yet, the Moon, with its perceived dry environment and minuscule amounts of oxygen, hardly seemed like a suitable candidate. The Chandrayaan-1, with its keen sensors, however, spotted signs of hematite, a form of iron oxide commonly known as rust. This posed the question, how could such a phenomenon occur on a celestial body, seemingly devoid of the necessary ingredients? Searching for the possible factors behind this enigma, scientists began to look at our home planet for clues. Could Earth, with its blue expanse of oceans and protective atmosphere, be influencing its lunar counterpart? Some speculated that the Earth's atmospheric particles could be drifting towards the Moon, depositing traces of oxygen. Over time, and with the right conditions, this oxygen could potentially interact with lunar water ice, instigating the rusting process. But the story doesn't end there. The Sun, ever-present and influential, may also have a role to play. While the Sun's solar winds are known to bombard the Moon with hydrogen, which would typically reduce the chances of rusting, certain conditions might just offer a twist in this tale. On Earth, when hydrogen encounters oxygen, it can produce water. Similarly, on the Moon, if these solar winds were to periodically deposit enough hydrogen and in the presence of the right amounts of oxygen from Earth, the creation of water and subsequently rust becomes possible. Hey spacers, before you get wet on the moon, take a breath and click the subscribe button to trek with us through the universe. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space thrills and mysteries. And now, back to the moon. Beyond the mesmerizing glow and the recent discoveries of water and rust, the moon continues to surprise us, showcasing itself as a reservoir of secrets. With every mission, it seems, we unearth new wonders from its ancient terrains. The Chang'e 5 mission is China's ambitious lunar probe. This particular mission had a distinct goal, to bring back fresh samples from our celestial neighbor. These samples, much like the precious time capsules they are, carry tales from eons past hinting at the moon's infancy and evolution. Amongst the assortment of rocks and regolith, scientists made a riveting discovery, the mineral Changsite Y. While the name may sound unfamiliar to most, its significance is profound. This mineral provides essential insights into the moon's volcanic activity, shedding light on its geological transformations over billions of years. It's similar to stumbling upon an old diary, revealing the stories of yesteryears. However, the treasures of the moon aren't confined to its geological tales. Delving deeper, there lies an element that has the world buzzing with excitement and anticipation, helium-3. This isotope, rare on Earth, 
but abundant on the Moon's surface, holds the potential to revolutionize our energy landscape. Imagine an energy source with minimal radioactive waste powering our cities and industries. That's the promise of helium-3 when used in nuclear fusion. It's not just about energy, it's about clean, efficient and sustainable energy. This discovery has ignited a global race, with nations competing to stake their claim in this lunar gold rush. The Moon, once seen as a silent guardian watching over us, now stands at the forefront of the next energy frontier. To think we once gazed upon the Moon with poetic admiration, entranced by its serenity. Today, we look with an explorer's curiosity, eager to unlock its vast potential. From time capsules in lunar samples to an energy gold mine waiting to be tapped, the moon's treasure trove extends far beyond the mere water and rust, beckoning us to reach out and discover more. As we venture further on this quest, two key geological and astronomical mysteries come to the forefront, demanding our attention and wonder. First, let's set our sights on the South Pole Aitken Basin, a massive crater that spans a staggering 2,500 kilometers in diameter. But it's not just its immense size that has scientists scratching their heads, it's what lurks beneath. Recent studies hint at the presence of a massive underground structure within the basin. Think of it as a giant hiding just under the lunar surface, with implications that could reshape our understanding of the Moon's history. Could it be the remnants of a gigantic asteroid impact, or perhaps a geological phenomenon unique to lunar conditions? While the answers are still forthcoming, the South Pole Aitken Basin stands as a testament to the Moon's enigmatic past. Now, as we probe deeper into the Moon's inside, another revelation awaits – the Moon's core. Unlike the solid, singular cores we might envision, the Moon surprises with a complex structure. Recent findings suggest a combination of both solid and liquid components within its core, revealing a more dynamic and intricate inner world than previously thought. But wait, there's more. The Moon's surface, etched with countless craters and planes, also houses a fascinating formation – lunar lava tubes. These are essentially subterranean channels carved out by flowing lava from ancient volcanic eruptions. But why should we care about some old tubes? Well, these could prove pivotal for future lunar missions. Offering natural protection from cosmic radiation and extreme temperatures, these tubes might just be the ideal sites for establishing lunar bases or habitats. Thus, every new discovery seems to beckon us closer, inviting us to dive deeper into its mysteries. As we've journeyed through the Moon's captivating tales, from its concealed waters to the intriguing South Pole Aitken Basin, one thing becomes clear. The Moon is far more than just a silvery orb in our night sky. But as we uncover one enigma, countless more await. So, what other secrets does our celestial neighbor still hold for us? Hey spacers, looks like the moon isn't what we thought. If you loved this video, subscribe and check out all the other awesome space content on our channel. Please like, comment and share. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified of all new space content and developments. See you next video.